you very much, uh, Director of Ceremonies, uh, Mr. Jan Nyama, and I am Director of Marketing and Communication. Uh, also, thank you very much to our preacher of the day, who maybe some of you don't know him, Mr. Namweda, Director of the United Lutheran Theology Seminary at uh, Paulina. Uh, Founder and Chairman of IOM Governing Council, Honorable Dr. David Richard Namandi, current and outgoing Chancellor of Bishop of Episcopers, Emeritus Dr. Clopas Dumani, Chancellor Designate, Bishop Dr. Shabuchamba Bano Bailo Mbala, Honorable Nasangula, former Prime Minister, Member of IOM Governing Council, the representative of the, of the VC of UNAM and PDC Academic Affairs, Professor Ferdinand Gideon, distinguished dignitaries from ministries, from industry and commerce, and from all sectors of society. Distinguished uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Aaron Taylor, BBC Academic and Research Professor Olabdele Awodo, Acting in BBC Administration and Management, Dr. Danus Makua, members of the Executive Committee of IUM, members of the Diplomatic Services here present. I notice a few here from the African Diplomatic Services, but also uh, from the Russian Embassy. The directors and heads of departments. I'd like now to stand by the protocol that has been well established and observe it with great respect. It is my job this morning, a very pleasant job, to greet you all and extend a very warm welcome to you. I thank you for your presence here today to witness this historic occasion, which is a ceremony to welcome the new Chancellor, Bishop Dr. Shabutamba Bano Bailo Nambala, but at the same time to bid farewell to our going Chancellor, Bishop Episcopus, Emeritus Dr. Claus Dumani. The, the ceremony has lasted dual purpose, and I think some of those purposes have already been explained by the Master of Ceremonies, and therefore I will not repeat them. The in incoming Chancellor will be introduced fully in the course of this ceremony. So suffice for me, at this point, to, si to simply say that the university is privileged and extremely proud to have had a Chancellor of such high stature as Bishop Episcopus Emeritus. Clopas Dumani for over 13 years. We treasure the contribution you made, sir, to the growth of this young university and vibrant university. When the Uruguay Chancellor started his tenure, those 13 years ago, the university was a much smaller operation than it is today. The growth and development of this university can be attributed to the contribution and the good leadership of people such like as yourself, sir. I thank you sincerely for that. Your efforts, your leadership has not gone without our parties and we thank you sincerely for that. No doubt from time to time when we need to tap into your wisdom, we shall knock at your door and please, you know, turn us away. We wish you God's grace and protection as you lead a fruitful life of retirement. At the same time, we are extremely proud that we have yet another person of equally high structure stepping into the shoes being vacated as our new Chancellor. We are aware, sir, that our new Chancellor is a person with an exemplary track record, which is reflected by your sterling contribution to this country before and after independence. We are sure that such experience will come handy in leading this university to new heights as it seeks to fulfill its mandate and destiny in shaping the young minds of our students and, and seek to consolidate its position as a vibrant university in the disciplines which we offer. We are a university led by the crisp vision of our founder and chairman, Dr. David Nomandi. The vision seeks, and I quote, to develop an African cadre of men and women who can operate at international standards of business and management. We at IOM, therefore, are involved in bringing to reality and expanding and updating our founder's vision 
for marriage, is that for teaching, conducting research for new knowledge production, and for science nature, the generation of new ideas, which helps value to our society's struggle to confront and overcome the various challenges it faces. We believe that our academic programs should continue to be demand driven and our research should be a practical application to make the lives of our people better. Neither can we afford to have research which is esoteric without a practical value, even if it is published in the brief journals. Indeed, nor can we afford to run programs which do not provide practical and relevant and labor market related skills. As a gentleman, in welcoming our new Chancellor, I wish to flag that we are now more than ever before as a private, not for profit university, but I want to use our collective skills, solid experience and expertise, research, innovation, commitment, and dedication to build on the visionary statement of the founding father of this university and leave a permanent marker on the landscape of societal change in Namibia for the better and address challenges which currently and in the future will face the country. We look forward to the vision of our new Chancellor, Bishop Dr. Shaputamba Bano Bayon Mambala, leading us to the achievement of this quest. Mr. Chancellor, so on behalf of Senate, on behalf of all academic and administrative staff in all our campuses, at Dorado, Kurenkuru, Omodiva, and Postal campuses, in my own humble behalf, we welcome you, sir, and we pledge to welcome you. And we look forward to your leadership, and we hope we shall be together and work together for a long time to come. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this ceremony, and I thank you very, very much for your attention.